DJI Avatar and DJI Goggles 2, first use. In this video, we will show you how to set up and use your DJI Avatar and DJI Goggles 2 combo for the first time. Open the boxes of DJI Avatar and DJI Goggles 2 motion combo. Take out DJI Avatar, DJI Goggles 2, DJI Motion Controller, and the remaining accessories in turn. Introducing DJI Avatar. DJI Avatar is made up of a vision system, a gimbal and camera, a GNSS, an aircraft status indicator, a propeller guard, motors, and an intelligent flight battery. Near the bottom of the aircraft, you can find a card slot cover. Before opening the card slot cover, align it with the gap between the propellers. After opening the card slot cover, you will see the micro SD card slot and the USB-C port, which can be used to support direct video recording and to connect to DJI Assistant 2, consumer drone series for activation or firmware updates respectively. If you need to export the footage captured by the aircraft, it is recommended to power off the aircraft and connect it to a computer via USB-C cable. Do not power on or off the aircraft during the transfer process. Otherwise, the file transfer will be interrupted. Introducing DJI Goggles 2. There are four ports on the goggles, a 3.5 mm audio port, a micro SD card slot, a power port, and a USB-C port. On the right side of the goggles, you can find the touch panel. After removing the screen protector of the goggles, you can see the proximity sensor and the link button in the middle. Attach the headband to the goggles. You can adjust the headband to fit your head. Introducing DJI Motion Controller. The USB-C port on the bottom of the motion controller can be used to charge the motion controller and connect to the DJI Fly app or DJI Assistant 2 for firmware updates. On the right side of the motion controller, you can find the power button. Press once to check the current battery level. Press once and then press and hold for about two seconds to power on or off the motion controller. On the back of the motion controller, you can find the accelerator. On the front of the motion controller, you can find the lock button, brake button, and mode button. On the left side of the motion controller, you can find the gimbal tilt slider and the shutter record button. Charging and powering on. When using DJI Avatar for the first time, it is recommended to fully charge the battery to ensure enough battery power for the following activation and upgrade operations. A power adapter is included in the package. After powering off the battery, use the power adapter to connect the battery and the charger. The battery level LEDs blink in sequence and display the current battery level during charging. The battery is fully charged when all the battery level LEDs are off. Insert the battery into the battery compartment of DJI Avada. Make sure it is mounted securely and that the battery buckles are clicked into place before connecting it to the power port. Press the power button once and then press again and hold for about two seconds to power on or off the aircraft. To replace the battery, disconnect the power port. Press the battery buckles on the sides of the battery and remove it from the compartment. The goggles battery in their motion controller can be charged with the USB-C charger. Use the power cable to connect the battery with the goggles. Press the power button once and then press again and hold to power on the goggles. Activation. DJI Avatar and DJI Goggles 2 must be activated via the DJI Fly app before first use. You can scan the QR code on the package or in the Quick Start Guide to download and install the latest DJI Fly app, and then log in or register a DJI account on the app. Power on the aircraft, goggles, and remote control device. Connect the USB-C OTG cable to the USB-C port of the goggles, and then to the mobile device with your smartphone cable.
open the DJI Fly app on your mobile device. If this is your first time using DJI Goggles 2, you will receive an activation prompt in the app. Please follow the instructions and complete activation. After the activation is complete, it is recommended to update the device to the latest firmware. If you have purchased or intend to purchase DJI Care Refresh, please finish the purchase and binding within 48 hours of activating the aircraft. Connection and Firmware Update Before updating the firmware, it is recommended to update within 10 minutes after DJI Avata is powered on. Otherwise, the drone may fail the update and power off after entering a protection mode due to continuous high temperature. In the homepage of the DJI Fly app, tap Connection Guide and then select DJI Avata in the pop-up aircraft selection page. If the goggles are connected with the aircraft for the first time and the connection cannot be established automatically, please tap Enable to connect to aircraft and then follow the instructions to link the goggles and the aircraft. If the goggles detect inconsistency with the firmware version of the aircraft, the goggles will prompt to update the firmware. Tap to continue. You can also use the DJI Assistant 2 Consumer Drone Series on your computer to update the firmware of the aircraft, goggles, and motion controller respectively. Preparing the goggles. Unfold the antennas. Remove the screen protector. Unfold the power cord for better use. Use the power cable to connect the power port of the goggles to the USB-C port of the goggles battery. And then power on the goggles. Take out the headband and attach it to the goggles. Wear the goggles and adjust the headband until the goggles fit comfortably. If you are nearsighted or farsighted, Diopter adjustment is possible from minus 8.0D to plus 2.0D. You can use the IPD slider and diopter adjustment knob to adjust the distances between the lenses and the diopter to get a clear view. Do as follows. Rotate both the knobs to unlock them. Toggle the knobs left and right to adjust the distance between the lenses until the images are properly aligned. Close your left eye and rotate the right knob to adjust the diopter until the images are clear. Close your right eye and rotate the left knob to adjust the diopter until the images are clear. After the images are clear, it is recommended to moderately turn the knob in reverse until the images are lightly blurred to relieve visual fatigue. After completing the interpupillary distance and diopter adjustment, Press the knobs and rotate them to lock in the lens's position and the diopter. Make sure that the goggles function normally and display the video transmission. Using the touch panel. The touch panel is on the right side of the goggles. You can touch and swipe with your fingers to access the relevant settings in the goggles. You can simply hold your finger on the touch panel and swipe to open the required menu. To ensure the accuracy of adjustment, Please do not slide the knob to the right or left abruptly. Swipe up from the bottom of the touch panel to enter the camera settings to change the camera parameters. Swipe down from the top of the touch panel to enter the shortcut menu and perform the following functions. Start, stop recording, lock, unlock the screen, enable, disable enhanced display, enable, disable head tracking, adjust brightness, and adjust volume. Swipe right from the left of the touch panel to open the goggles menu, and then swipe to view the menu contents. Tap once with a single finger to confirm your selection. Tap once with two fingers to go back. On the home screen, press and hold with two fingers to lock or unlock the screen. After the screen is locked, the touchpad will not respond to finger taps and swipes to prevent accidental touches. During video playback, you can swipe left or right to adjust the progress bar and swipe up or down to adjust the volume. Tap once to pause or continue the playback. Pre-flight preparation. Before flight, check whether the USB-C port and microSD card slot cover is correctly and securely sealed. 
Detach the gimbal protector. Check the battery level of the motion control, and then power on the motion control. Check the battery level of the intelligent flight battery. Power on the aircraft. Place the aircraft on level ground with the rear facing you. Check the battery level of the goggles battery. Connect the goggles battery with the goggles and power them on. Adjust the headband until the goggles fit comfortably. Adjust the distances between the lenses and the diopter until the images are clear. First use. Check the goggles interface to confirm that there are no abnormal reminders and the GPS signal is good. Take normal mode as an example. Press the lock button twice to start the motors of the aircraft. Press and hold the lock button to make the aircraft take off automatically, ascend to one meter, and hover. Press and hold the lock button again to land it automatically and stop the motors. Press the accelerator to fly the aircraft in the direction of the circle in the goggles. Apply more pressure to accelerate. Release to stop and hover. Press the accelerator and lift your arm and the motion controller up and down to make the aircraft ascend or descend while flying forward. During flight, you can change the direction of the aircraft. The correct way is to rotate your arm and the motion controller left and right while pressing the accelerator to control the aircraft to turn. The wrong way is to swing your arm left and right or turn your wrist while pressing the accelerator. When the aircraft is hovering, rotate your arm and the motion controller left and right to control the aircraft to turn left or right. Raise your arm. And once the circle in the goggles goes into the ascend icon, press the accelerator to make the aircraft ascend vertically. Lower your arm. And once the circle in the goggles goes into the descend icon, press the accelerator to make the aircraft descend vertically. Press the brake button once to make the aircraft brake and hover in place. Press again to unlock the hovering attitude and continue the flight. Press the mode button once to switch to normal or sport mode. Press the shutter record button once to take a photo or to start or stop recording. Press and hold the shutter record button to switch between photo and video mode. Flight modes. DJI Avatar can be switched to normal and sport mode via the mode button on the motion control. In normal mode, the aircraft utilizes GNSS, the vision system, and the infrared sensing system to locate itself and stabilize. The sport mode improves the flight speed, ascent speed, and descent speed on the basis of normal mode. Return to home. DJI Avatar supports the return to home, RTH feature, and there are three types of RTH, Smart RTH, Low Battery RTH, and Failsafe RTH. The default home point is the first location where the aircraft received a strong or moderately strong GNSS signal. The prompt will appear in the goggles to confirm the home point has been recorded. During flight, the goggles interface will continue to display the home point icon H which represents the last recorded home point of the aircraft. Press and hold the brake button until the motion controller beeps to indicate that RTH has started. During the RTH, please always pay attention to the home point location in the goggles interface. Press the brake button again to cancel RTH. After each flight, it is recommended to clean the dust and debris inside and outside of the aircraft propeller guard in a timely manner to avoid blocking the aircraft vents. Thanks for watching.